Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how you can add a logo into a QR code like the two you see on your screen right now. Go ahead, scan them, see what happens. As you can see with the left, which is obviously a YouTube QR code, the logo itself sits on top of the QR code, whereas on the right, the Twitter icon sits in a circle of blank space pretty much. And so I'll be showing you how you can do both of those in this video, so stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so in this video, I'll be creating a demonstration YouTube QR code. So firstly, you want to come to qrcode.cx, uh, select what sort of QR code you want to make on the side here. So I'll select hyperlink, which is basically a URL. Um, because I'm not doing this seriously, I will just call it youtube.com. And then you can change the color here. So try and change the color to something similar to your logo, as you could see with the original two logos that I showed you at the beginning of the video, so I'll do a red like that, but do keep in mind this can be changed later, and it probably will be changed later, depending on how things look. Then the next important thing to do is change error correction to high, and then if you wish, you can change corner rounding to either low, medium, high, or you could disable it altogether. So I will set that to high because I like the look of rounded corners. And you can even change the size of the QR code here, but I'll leave that at 300 by 300. Um, to save that, you want to highlight save, click save as PNG, right click, save image as, and I will be saving that to my desktop as download. Alright, so the next step is to put that into a picture editor, like Photoshop, like so. Hit enter, place the file. And then you want to remove the background first. So I will uh, use the magic wand tool, select the white background and hit delete. Then make sure you get all the other white spaces um, on the QR code like so. And then when that's done, just hit Control D to deselect everything and go back to the select tool. Okay, next you want to import your actual logo. So I'll grab the YouTube icon here. Pop that in, hit enter to place the file, then make that bigger if you want. Um, oops, my bad. So, not too big, otherwise it might get pixely. I think that looks good. Then I'll realign that to the center, like so. And then the next thing you want to do is right click that layer and hit rasterize layer. Once that's done, you want to go ahead and change the color of the QR code if need be. Um, like in this one, that red doesn't really match the logo, so I'll be changing that. So first, select the eyedropper tool and get the color of that icon, uh, of that logo, whatever you're using. Then select the bucket tool, um, hit layer zero, which is the QR code itself and then just color everything in. Now, I know Photoshop has a color replacement tool, but for some reason that doesn't work for me, so I'm just doing the manual method of using the paint bucket and painting every little segment manually. So you can go ahead and use the color replacement tool if you want, but keep in mind if that doesn't work, then just do it manually like so. So I'm almost done, just a few more to do. Oops. Alright, that's looking good. Everything has changed colour. I might expand that logo a tiny bit more, um, just to make it look a little neater. Realign that with the centre. Okay. And optionally, if you want, you can choose to make that arrow there transparent. Well, that is if you're using the YouTube um, icon, so I'll do that, and select that with the magic wand tool, and hit delete, as you can see, if I zoom in, there are still some things behind that, you can go ahead and delete that, just use the magic wand tool, select it, um, sorry, select layer zero first, and select it, um, 
Alright, well, the problem here is it also selects this whole major segment. So what you want to do is just grab the eraser tool, make sure the QR code layer is selected, and erase it like that, because anything behind the logo you don't see, so it doesn't matter what I'm erasing here, but I just practically removed what you can see through that little arrow. Alright, once that's done, just quickly zoom out. You can see I have a pretty nice looking YouTube QR code here, but... I'm sure you've noticed that little white space there. If you haven't, well, that's just because I'm good with graphic design and I notice these things. So I'm just going to make that logo a tad larger, realign it like so. And now I think that looks pretty good. If you want, adjust it to your liking, change um, any of the colors if you want. That's completely up to you, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty cool with that. So just go ahead, go File, Save As. And go ahead and save that as a PNG, wherever you like. Um, download 2, whatever. Hit OK. And if I go to that now, here is my QR code, which I can practically use anywhere. Business cards, pamphlets, YouTube videos. Um, but that's how you add a logo, a icon, into a QR code. Now, of course, if you liked what you saw in this video, don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up. And if you wish to see more quality content, then be sure to subscribe and follow my new Twitter page to keep up to date with my uploads. You can find links for that both in the description box below and on the screen right now.